Hola a todos, bienvenidos to the mastermind where we help each other keep on track with goals, intentions, things that we set for our lives so that we can work towards a better version of ourselves. If you're interested in joining, comment down below, let me know what you're up to, let's hold each other accountable and knock those goals, check them off, cross them out. Last week, first thing I said I was going to do, take practice photos, do a photo session, practice what I learned on my DSLR camera from that Skillshare class that I took. I was gonna do it today. I don't know why this thing is being hard for me to cross off. If you weren't here the week before, I had it on my week before too. Y no lo hice. Why is it hard? I think I just feel so incompetent in the camera DSLR stuff that I, there's a line that I need to cross, you know? <sighs> I didn't end up bringing my camera on this trip. I'm gonna be gone for a couple weeks. So I don't think it's gonna happen this week or next. I'm gonna put it on my back burner list for later on to do in a future mastermind. Which reminds me, I need to cancel Skillshare, I think, because I'm, I haven't used it now in a couple of weeks and I don't think I'll be using it again in the near future, so I should cancel it while I'm not using it. Second thing I said I was gonna do from last week is back up my computer. Yes, I did it. And after connecting my backup, again, my computer now keeps telling me, gotta connect the backup, gotta connect the backup, because <laughs> trying to automatically back up and it can't because backup is not connected. I'll do it again when I get home. That was one thing I did the day before my travel day and I was pretty impressed with myself. I got up really early that day. I actually felt like I had time in between stuff that I was thinking, hmm, what should I do now? No tengo algo que hacer, but it was really nice. I crossed off all these little tiny random to-dos that day. Very productive, nice day. I got a lot of time to play with the kids. Third thing I said I was gonna do last week is film an extra video from a previously scripted slash outlined thing that I did. Check that off, I actually ended up filming two videos, both of those outlined videos that I did, so doing so good. For the five to thrive last 90 days challenge, let's see. Number one, wake up at 6 a.m. Three times. I did it three times this past week. There's my starting line. They say if you never measure where you're at, how are you gonna know if you're improving? So that's my measurement of starting out <laughs> three days in one week. Let's see if we can get that to four days in this next week or keep it at three days at least. Not, at least don't go backwards, right? Por lo menos. By the way, if you hear noises, daughter's in the bedroom right here. Also, kids sleeping on the floor, so. Gratitude, again. That's so easy for me to just get in every single day. I'm curious how this week is gonna go though because I'm gonna be with my sisters the whole week and I tend to completely lose routine when I'm with them because we stay up late talking. My love language is quality time, quality conversation type of stuff. So I just want to be with them the whole time and just talk the whole time or whatever. So I also tend to dejar mi teléfono maybe in their other room, maybe wherever, just it doesn't even cross my mind to grab my phone because I'm so busy with whatever we're doing all the time. And if I don't pick up my phone, I don't see my to-do list, I don't remember my normal habits, my phone is kind of a trigger for habits to happen, so I'm gonna try and do my best, but we'll see. I'm curious how this is gonna go. Hydrate, I had three, again, good days, which is one and a half bottles of water. I've been marking it down when I have drank a lot of water. My travel day, I have not been good at drinking water cuando estoy viajando because first of all, when you're traveling with kids, it's hard to go to the bathroom, even harder on the airplane. So I don't want to drink as much water because I don't want to have to use the bathroom with them. But then the other thing is just when I'm out of my routine, it's hard to keep up my good habits. So three good days. I need to at least mark three days where I drink a bottle and a half of water or more, or maybe two full bottles of water days. Move four days woo and these are not workouts i think i worked out officially one day but other than that it was mostly just walking or había un día que i was running around with valentina i got very tired out <laughs> four officially good moving days and release youtube again only time i've been on youtube is for video research editing stuff if you haven't seen saturday's video go check it out i talked about another youtuber so i kept going back to her video to reference clips of videos of hers so yeah i have been on youtube but it's still not on my phone i will prove it to you right now <laughs> let's see if you can see that no youtube so i'm doing pretty good with these let's see 
it is the end of October. Should I change that next week? We'll see. Maybe next mastermind I'll change my release item. I think so because YouTube has gotten to the point where it's pretty easy now. It's not that much of a struggle. So I think I'll be good to add in a second release slash change my other one. Okay, for next week, I reminded myself I need to scan cancel Skillshare, which I already mentioned. So that's going to be number one. This past week, we went to a pumpkin farm. Well, can you even call it a pumpkin farm? Because we didn't even get pumpkins or anything. It was a farm where they have fall activities, little attractions, things set up, big old slide. You can see the animals. You can go in the corn maze, pick flowers, whatnot. Fue muy bonito. It was nice. We didn't quite have long enough because we went at the end of a day where we had to leave when they closed of course <laughs> so it would have been nice to spend a little longer there i think but anyway nice to get out of the house walk around a lot we also went to a truck or treat i think they called it it was a thing put on by the fire department where they had a bunch of fire trucks along the streets and a bunch of tables set up you could dress up and then walk and get candy at the different tables it made me think about kids just really enjoy the simplest things because to me and even Valentina, we were walking along and she tells me, mom, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Thinking back to even when I was a kid, it was awesome to go walk around for hours on end, saying trick or treat, filling up a bag of candy. Such a simple joy. Why is it that it's so more complicated to be joyful and happy as an adult? Something I've been pondering. Comment down below if you have any thoughts on that. I don't know what else to say about that exactly right now or if I can make that into an action at all. I mean, gratitude helps that you're being thankful for the little things. Joyfulness, happiness, excitement is a different thing, you know? On the flip side of that, I discovered that spending too much time doing nothing or not, maybe not checking things off of a to-do list or not doing anything, kind of being a couch, to couch potato. Can you hear that airplane? I don't know how good of a mic this is, by the way. I would love to be able to use this mic with my DSLR, but it only connects to this camera, which is a little tiny pocket camera that I have brought with me because I had such a small suitcase. <laughs> I wish I could connect this to my other camera. Okay, so back to the not doing anything makes me antsy and unhappy. I just don't feel good if I veg for too many days or honestly, okay, when you get sick is one thing, right? You have to chill, relax and let your body heal. Oh, there's a bird. But things like not doing any cleaning, not really doing any cooking, maybe just going out to eat, not really actively playing with the kids, not really actively going outside, doing certain things, not working on the household in any ways, just not doing. I do not. The whole week after that, I feel like I'm catching up because I spent so much time doing pretty much nothing. And I also, I don't know, I just don't like it. I don't feel good. <laughs> so again, really no action item per se, but I, I think that was just a really interesting realization for me that I do feel so much better being active and productive than not. To an extent I could, you know, maybe hang out at the beach, getting sunshine, playing in the water, fresh air, and reading a book for days, maybe, maybe a day, but that's a different kind of thing than sitting on the couch indoors, not fresh air, not sunshine. Yeah. Even if it's hard sometimes to get myself to start something, it's just always so much better to feel accomplished after that than not doing anything. Travel went pretty well. We were supposed to be in Denver for seven-ish, seven, eight hours between flights. And that was getting very interesting until it crossed my mind that maybe I could get on an earlier flight and I <laughs> just in time went and asked because I got on a flight like 10 minutes before they closed the, the gate, the door. That was getting very interesting, trying to entertain two kids in a very public place, full of people, kind of gross floors. Tony kept finding random things. Uh, let's see. When I get together with my family a lot of times, since I'm, <laughs> I laugh that I, have FOMO, fear of missing out. I just do not want to go to sleep early. I want to wake up as soon as I hear that anybody else is up. I want to join into everything that everyone's doing. <laughs> I don't want to miss out on anything. So doing that also, I end up kind of just sitting on the couch watching a lot of times and I won't even pick up my book or pull out my computer or get up and do something because I don't want to leave the room. I don't like, I want to keep knowing what's happening. Entonces para esta semana, if I find myself just kind of sitting doing nothing in those moments, I want to pick up my book or pick up my computer because yes, I am planning on editing and uploading this mastermind on Tuesday. So that means I'll have to do the work this weekend to get that up. And as I said, we always stay up late. So mm, can I commit to it? 
I yeah, I'm gonna try to get up early so that I can do it while nobody else is up or I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna figure it out. But also my sister is bringing a couple of books that I want to read while she's around and she's leaving on Thursday, I believe. So I gotta cram in all the reading so I can finish that book. So I'm just gonna put read in between moments. Like if I find myself, as I said, just in a moment that I can do something. Then I'm keeping it light, easy, fun this week. Drink water. Also, I brought a crochet hook and some yarn. I'm gonna make another dish rag. I'm just gonna put that, make a dish rag. <laughs> I'm gonna put crochet actually, that's easier. Okay, I think that's everything. Don't wanna get too much commitments this week because we're gonna try to have fun and uh, chill and vacation, you know? Muchas gracias por estar aquí. I really appreciate y'all. Give it a like if you like this video. I don't know what to say right there. If you wanna support my channel, it really does help support me and my channel. So comment down below, join in, and I'll see y'all on Saturday with another video. Am I gonna upload a video on Saturday? See, I was hoping to have this done this week already. Like I should have had the second video already uploaded and done, but I'll be back here again next Tuesday with another mastermind. Okay, bye.